No knock leads to legal shooting of cops. That's what we're going to talk about on Daily Shooter. My name is Paul Gordon for New Shooting Self-Defense's Daily Shooter. Today's date is Wednesday, December 14th, 2016. Let's get on with the show. This is from Caller Times. A Nooshes County jury that acquitted a man who shot Corpus Christi police officers executing a raid on his home said a botched operation and contradicting testimony led to their decision. The juror's verdict frees Ray Rosas, who was jailed since February 19th, 2015. Uh, the shooting, that's the date that the shooting of his home happened on the 3000 block of Churchill Drive near Del Mar College. Rosa's elderly and handicapped mother cried as defense lawyers, okay. Jurors explained their reasoning to prosecutors and defense lawyers afterwards. What, what, it, what did it for a lot of jurors, I think, is that the officers didn't seem credible. Their stories didn't match, and it kind of made us feel like they're lying about, if they're lying about, like, if they're lying about this, what else are they lying about, a female juror said. Jurors referred to the officer's differing testimony about what Rosa said and how he acted when police restrained him. Some officers described him as aggressive and directing profanity toward the police. Other officers said he was cooperating and told him he didn't know they were law enforcement. They were executing a drug-related warrant on Rosas's nephew, who lived in the family home at the time. They used a flashbang, a tool meant to distract officers' targets, uh, through Rosas's bedroom window before breaking into the house. Rosas shot at officers, striking three of them. <laughs> No-knock warrants have often come under scrutiny and presented a legal dilemma. On one hand, the power to execute a no-knock warrant gives the police an element of surprise they would be missing if they had to first knock on the door and ask to come in. On the other hand, the no-knock warrant puts the cops in the position of appearing to be armed intruders in a person's home. In this case, the warrant being executed was for Rosas's nephew. The police hadn't even confirmed that the person was in the house before they broke into the home to execute the warrant. In a split second, being woken from your sleep, even if the police are identifying themselves, how can one reliably expect that a person could process that these were police and not armed home invaders bursting into their homes. Add on to that the flash grenades and you've got the making of a chaotic situation, which is the ultimate reason this man was found not guilty, even though he shot three cops. The lesson learned here is this. If you're going to execute no-knock warrants, don't be surprised if the person's home you enter doesn't shoot at you. You see, there is a price to be paid for that surprise advantage. And the price, it could be paid by both sides of the confrontation. Thank you for joining us today on Daily Shooter with Paul Gordon. This has been No Knock Leads to Legal Shooting of Cops. Join us on the same YouTube channel for the next edition of New Shooting Self-Defense's Daily Shooter. And remember, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and remember to hit that bell, hit that bell, hit that bell. Also, you can like us on Facebook at New Shooting Self-Defense, and as always, remember your ABCs. Always be carrying.